The little one is slightly nervous. Just stop over here and then I'll jump out of your way. And what I might actually do is, like I said, I'm going to come and trim a couple of these trees. I might trim this quarry bush back slightly. Just so that we don't have to get too close to the den, that we can actually arrive right up here and uh, have an easy, clean view. There they go, back inside again. Now, dear watcher, you're wondering if the adults are perhaps out hunting. They might be, although I actually think they could just be sleeping off in the bush somewhere. Um, they normally rest up during the day. They, they're more active at night. But again, they're opportunistic feeders. So if there is anything around, it isn't unusual to see a hyena out during the day. So they could just be not too far away, maybe laying up in the drainage line. But you can see this older cub is naughty. <laughs> you are causing all the trouble. You are luring that youngster out of its burrow when you know that you've been told by your parents to stay in there and stay put. But it is just so adorable, isn't it? You are very fluffy. See there? Na naughty one and naughty two. And now, don't choke. Did a little cough. Obviously, it was chewing on a stick at one point. That stick right there that it's walking over. What have you seen? See how it's not staring at us, it's staring down at something else. So I'm just looking to see what it has seen. Again, this is where I wish I had my superpower to be able to communicate with the animals and I could understand exactly what was going on. Now it's quite thick in here, it's a very good spot for a den. There's lots of impala walking in the distance. I wonder if that's maybe what it hasn't spotted just away. Hello little one. Okay, in your burrow. Like I said, we're not going to stay here for too much longer. We just have a look. But it might give you an opportunity to try and ID this little one. Red Brick, you say that you love hyenas. They are so interesting. They are indeed. Look at that little one. He's digging. Are you? Or what are you digging? You're just cleaning out your burrow. I'm so happy that we found it. Now, I remember when I first started working here, and I and obviously it started watching Safari Live on and off before I was working, uh, before I got the job here. And I remember Jamie and James sitting here for hours and hours with this family and, and just enjoying them in this exactly exact termite mound. Now they're going to play with some sticks and chew the grass. They're bored. Like I said, they're bored. At least they've got each other, though. It must be tough when uh, you're all on your own. I always do feel slightly so sorry for leopard cubs or a lion cub if it's on its own because then they really do pester the parents or the adult, the adult females and the males. So at least if you have a sibling, it's quite nice. But it's amazing, you're already just looking at the bond. Look how that little one goes over though, just to sort of, that sort of out of reassurance to say, it's okay, I'm here. Big sibling, sibling is here. Okay, but I don't think we're gonna stay here much longer. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I don't wanna spend too much time with no adults around here, but I just wanted to poke my nose in to make sure that our lovelies are still okay. Ooh, there we go. Her Herbie's talking to me. Hi, Herbie, I can hear you. Ooh, Herbie, where? Tell me where. Okay, right, we're gonna leave because Herbert has just said that there's a leopard somewhere. Bye, hyenas, get inside that burrow.